So I've logged into my Flare dashboard, and we are in um, we are in our Scatterhold demo here. So this is um, obfuscated a little bit, and it doesn't have like customer data. But when you're in the platform and you're using it as a red teamer, or you're using it as a CTI person, I mean, you get live data, which is um, which is awesome. So you'll normally land on the dashboard, and you'll be able to see. Um, you know, just some overview about how you've set up Flare and um, your current benchmarking against um, kind of other places in your industry and, and things like that. And so that's the global dashboard. But me as a red teamer, I want to get to the credentials as fast as possible. So um, when you're in Flare, you want to go down to um, the events tab on the left hand side. And in the events tab, it's kind of like your global, you know, your global search. So um, right now I'm in a demo mode, so I can't verbatim search. But a lot of times when I'm in here, I will just search my customer name in here. So if I'm on a red team engagement, I will search you know, uh, whatever company in here. And that'll grab all of the identifiers uh, for that company. And identifiers mean you know, it could be leaked source code. It could be a credential. It could be a cookie. Um, there's a lot of things that Flare parses the dark web and the clear web for um, to alert me on as like kind of a holistic uh, exposure, right? Uh, you know, identifiers lead to exposures. Exposures are what I'm looking for because they'll help me hack this company. So in the menus here, I can, you know, filter by severity. Usually, Steeler logs are available in like the high and the critical severity levels. So uh, when I'm a red teamer, I will actually a lot of times remove um, the lower levels of stuff. But we're going to check out everything right now. And then you can do some filtering by how fresh the data is. And then the categories is kind of the second most useful filter for me when I'm going through Flare. So uh, when I'm using it as a red team, um, I am not looking at lookalike domains in the first part of my process. And I'm less interested in the open web stuff in the beginning of my process. So I have a methodology that I follow as a red team. But the first thing I want to start doing is looking at credentials that are fresh and that I can use on my engagement to try to log into things I'm not supposed to be able to log into or shouldn't be you know, on the dark web, at least to identify. So I'll untick those. And then that'll set my filters up. And now you can see that um, there, there is some stuff here um, in our demo. And so here, if we click on this exposure, uh, we have um, a Telegram sale um, and, uh, and a room link for where um, this is being sold. So we can give it to our CTI analysts if they want to do some investigation. Um, a lot of times, I find this really useful to give, you know, if I'm a red teamer, but I'm going to be working with the client, I can hand them, you know, like a lot of great threat intel data um, from this, like where the sale is being done, if there's a coordinated, like, you know, attack. And then there's metadata around this exposure here. So you can see there's a, it's a low severity tag. Um, we have a content place where you can see kind of what they're um, talking about. So there's a DDoS project associated to this. Um, and so this is just like kind of like a posting. It's like, hey, um, Scatterholt was mentioned in, you know, in this thing. Um, here we have a ransom leak where our domain was met. One of our domains was mentioned. So um, in Flare, I'm monitoring for multiple different domains. Uh, manufacturing uh, coinc.com is one of those domains. And so when you set up Flare as a red teamer, usually what I do is you have so many identifiers that um, you get with Flare, and then I put in my customers' top level domains. So, I mean, just fictionally, right? We could put flare.io or you could put any company domain. And then you can put multiple company domains, and then they'll show up in this exposures list here in the events. Um, and so here you can see that uh, I'm being, you know, referenced. You know, one of my domains is being referenced here.